Hi, my name is Lucky Dimoski and I'm from Sidwell. What I would like to show you today is our new multi-process uh, 3-in-1 inverter. The Transmit 250i is a multi-function inverter. That means it can do MIG, TIG and ARC welding work. And it has some, of, uh, some extra features on it, like VRD, overheat device of course for overloaded, uh, wire size up to 1.2mm diameter, uh, electrodes up to 5mm in diameter, and it's a 240 volt 15 amp, also Australian standards and 3 year warranty. Okay, including uh, in the Transmit 250i, the contents that you get when you buy the machine are as follows. MIG torch, okay, this is a genuine 250 Fusion uh, MIG torch, the regulator for your gas, of course, a quick disconnect gas hose, your birth lead, your electrode lead, and of course, you get five different rollers. One set of rollers are fitted to the machine already. You get aluminium rollers, you get um, flux cord wire rollers, and you get two sets of solid wire rollers. Even though the machine is light enough to be picked up by one person, you should get another person just in case you uh, do some back damage. Okay? To start off with, I would like to show you the MIG process. And it's very easy to uh, set up for the process. All you follow is the little button here and select me and it's ready to go. So what you would need for MIG welding is of course the MIG torch, the regulator and your earth lead. Of course, you will need a 15 amp power point. Set it up for MIG welding. I'll connect the earth lead up first. Naturally it goes onto the negative polarity. And the positive is the gun. Then the mid torch. Okay, on the job, and that's ready for the wire to go through. Next, connect up your regulator onto the bottom. And then, very important, quick disconnect fitting for the gas makes it easier to remove and you don't need any spanners. Hang up. Tighten that up. Put the gas on about 15 litres a minute. And if you're not sure, please refer back to the operation manual. Now we'll show you how to put a roll of wiring and feed it through the gun. Start feeding the uh, wire through. You must do a few things uh, before you start. First, check the rollers. Make sure that you are using the right rollers. As I said before, you do get different rollers in the kit. Okay. Okay. And remove the roller. Have a look at the size. That's correct. in and lock it in. Okay, ready to put the wire in. The machine takes 15 kilogram spools, 12 inch or 8 inch 5 kilo spools. Okay, the wire fits on there. Make sure you find a locating pin and locks it in and works as a break. Don't forget to put the split pin in to lock the wire in. Cut the wire in and feed it through the first guide tube and feed it through the second guide tube and feed it roughly at about to there. Lock the gate down and it's ready. Now we turn the machine on at the back. We need to check what size tip is in uh, the actual gun. By doing that, just Unscrew and open it up that way. We're running 0.9 wire, so you need to have a 0.9 uh, millimeter tip. 
and yep, that's correct. Feed the wire through, turn the wire speed up, straighten the torch out, and press the trigger. Make sure that the gas is off at this stage because you don't want to waste gas. As you can see, the wire is feeding itself straight through. Put the tip, feed that back onto the top. As I said, make sure the tip is the same size as the wire. Make sure you always lift it, otherwise the heat transfer will cause a seat damage. Put the nozzle back on. We're ready to weld. If you've never welded before, it's the first time we have the setup guide position here under the lid. The setup guide tells you how to set your wire speed, your volts and your amps basically for what thickness of material you're welding. A very, very good starting feature. Before you start welding, always make sure that the polarity is correct. Your earth should be negative and your gun should be positive. If you're welding gasless wire, then you reverse the polarity, which will show you The machine is very easy to operate. All you do is pick your process, mid lifting or stick, by pressing the process button, we're doing mix, so I'll leave it on mid. You've got your wire speed and amps, and you've got your voltage control. If you're not sure, refer to the operation manual, or refer to the inside setup guide. I've set the machine up as per the setting on the door. The wild is 5 mil plate, and as you can see, 6.7 meters uh, of wire, and voltage 19.5. Very important to have a set of gloves. So you don't get wet. If it's the last parts, you're going to be flying. It's very important for the gloves and very important for the automatic flying part. Okay? The hubbub should always be set up during the other part. We're ready to weld now. We've just finished welding and uh, the end result is that. What I would like to show you now is how to dismantle the machine and set it up for TIG weld. So to dismantle the machine, make sure you cut the end of the wire off, makes it easier to unwind back onto the stool. Naturally turn the machine off at the back and turn it off at the end. Very safety conscious. Undo the wire feed drive, wind the wire back very slowly feed it into here unhook that and the wire is out as we won't be needing this anymore we can shut that. With the machine in the kit you also get three extra tips, all different sizes. You get a 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.6. All come in a bag with a little spanner to change your tips. <laughs>